Hello nieces, hello nephews, it's your Uncle Chad is here and welcome back to my YouTube channel where we do unbiased technical analysis. So if that sounds good to you, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and turn on the notification bell. I appreciate it. So, we're going to get into this as always starting off with the flow sentiment. That's the option flow from Cheddar Flow. It's bearish, 91% in the puts, 9% in the calls. Filter for 500k premiums or above. So we're still seeing a lot of big money coming in uh, for out the money puts. Millions and million dollars worth uh, for that August 19 expiration date. Okay, so seeing a lot of that still. So that's option flow. Very bearish. This is my Discord where I write all my plans. Today the plan I talked about, I talked about to the group about the core pattern or structure that I'm watching today, which was the bear flag. And, you know, I just write my plans here on how we're going to deal with it. Okay? So, pretty much, pretty straightforward. We're going to watch for the breakdown in the morning. All right? So, you can see here on the 15-minute chart, SPY opened up. I had a level around here around 376 to 375.5. I've mentioned this level many times before. But SPY opened up breaking down that level. That's when I alerted to the group got on the next one at 9.33 a.m. Hey guys, it's getting bears. Spies breaking down levels. Watch out for the breakdown of this bear flag, which it broke down right here. All right, that's when I entered a put. I could have entered a put on the breakdown of this uh, resistant level here, but or support level. It was support because uh, it did open above 375.5, so that made it a breakdown of that support. I could have entered there, but I was strictly watching the bear flag today, and I was able to play it to the next level. Level to level so around 375 ish all the way down to the 373.5 to 374 zone that was my next support level or support zone and i try to enter i try to take profits when i got in the middle of that zone so a quick level to level play and then spy just pretty much chopped back tested that bear flag this blue line is the bear flag i'm gonna zoom out in a little bit but in a little bit after i explain the trade and how it went today but pretty much Back tested as a resistant multiple time. This candle around here at 1030, it did go all the way up to the 376 resistant level. And it was met with strong rejection. But twice, SPY dropped down to the 372 to 373 zone and held. Looking like a double bottom. Okay? Here's where it got interesting though. On the 1145 15-minute candle, that's when it recaptured the bear flag. Remember, false breakdowns are very bullish. Very bullish. So we got a false breakdown right here. We break down right here. Recaptured at around 1145. That's when I alerted to the group. Guys, be careful with puts. Because we got a recapture here. And as you can see, it bounced up. Went up as high as 377-ish. Pulled back a little bit for the back test as a support. It held. Think of the back test and go strategy, which I talk about. I have the video in the description below where I go in depth about that strategy, but it back tested as a support held and continue on upwards. All right, around here is when I entered uh, calls, around the back test of the bear flag, took half of my profits around the 377 ish level. I had a resistant level around there, took half of my profits, held some through some pain. Okay, I was gonna get ready to cut loss, but it held. The support held and it kept going up. I think I took most profits around the 378.5 level. I left the run for the rest of the day and it worked out very well. Two for two. Okay. If we look on a daily chart now, here's the bear flag that I was talking to you guys about. You see this bear flag on the daily chart. All right. It recaptured once again the 380 level. That's the level I talked about last week that made me short term bullish. We recaptured the 380 level because it's based on my 38.2 retracement level. This level right here from March 2020 low to January 2022 high. Okay. So that 380 level was very critical. That orange line that I have right here, that's my 382 level. That's the next resistant level that SPY needs to clear. Okay. You can see in the past that on June 13, June 29th candle. This level has served as both a support and a resistant, mostly resistant. Okay, we need to clear that level to trigger more upside. For me to be bullish, needs to get back below 380. Back below 380, I favor we go back and test the support 
of the bear flag, okay, which is around 374.2-ish. Keep in mind, a bear flag is technically a bearish price pattern. So if this breaks down again, it's possible, uh, it's possible that, that's how I had it before, sorry. Very possible that we're going to get a hard sell-off to the downside, okay? So the way I have my bear flag, I have it starting from June 17th low, connecting to June 30th low, and to July 1st low, okay? I had a little messed up earlier, all right? I'm going to say that again. June 17th low to June 30th low to July 1st low, okay? And I have my resistant level of my bear flag right here, uh, kind of messed up a little bit, starting from June 13th high, connecting to June 15th high, you can see here it's overlapping a bit, but it's connecting to June 24th, June 27th, and June 28th, okay, that's my bear flag, if I go to a one hour chart, you can see it a little bit more, okay, I can adjust this, make it look a little better, there you go. So if I, I can connect it from June 13th candle, connect it to June 27th and June 28th candle instead, it makes it look a little bit better. All right. For some reason, it looks different on different time frames. Like the lines mess up a little bit. But you can see right here today, we had that false breakdown. All right. You see, you got three touches. One, two, three. Today is a false breakdown. As far as the resistance go, one, two, three. Will we get a fourth touch? For that to happen, 380 must hold. Clear 382. That will put 383.5, 385. Uh, what other levels I got? 387 and 390 in play. Okay? 390 is going to be a very, very critical level. Okay? The reason why I say 390 is a critical level. If I take out all these other lines that I got and I start from January 2022's high with my FIB level, bring it all the way down to June 2022 uh, low, you can see that my FIB level for the 23.6 retracement level is around 390, okay? So 380 must hold, clear 382, to put, and that will keep the 390 level in play, a chance to retest it and maybe even clear it. And if that happens, then the July 1st, and July 5th lows could be the higher low from the late June's or mid June, uh, excuse me, mid June's low. You guys understand what I'm saying? All right. 380 must hold for this right here to be a higher low to go test 390. All right. We clear 390. That would be very, very bullish. Okay. But to be bearish, you need to get back below 380 and go test that bear flag go back and test that bear flag break down that bear flag which is around 374.9 is 375 ish around there break down get below that level that's a breakdown and that's when i would turn very bearish okay guys so right now short term bullish as long as above 380 below 380 is when i would turn back to bearish okay and here's vix it did not recapture that 27.59 resistant level it closed around 27.53 so just below it needs to get above it to be bullish got a strong rejection from 29.74 resistant level okay so if it tests again it needs to clear that level we've got a strong rejection okay and next support is around 26 based on this trend line that i got here okay and if get below 26 that's a breakdown very bearish for the vix uh triple q had a very bullish day it was able to close above 286.5. I had that as one of my resistance level. So 286.5 with 285 below that must hold. If 285 fails, we got 282.3-ish. 280, then I have the support line around uh, uh, down here around 278.3, okay? That connects June 16th to June 30th low, and it connected to, the, to today's low as well, okay? But as long as Triple Q can stay above 286.5, that puts 289.5 in play. That's this downtrend line, that blue downtrend line that I got right here. It connects uh, April 5th high to June 8th high. 
to June 27th high. Okay, so obviously above 290 would be a breakout of that downtrend line and it would be very, very bullish. Okay, I'll be bearish again if we lose support level 286.5, 285, 282.3. But as long as those support holds and we break above 290, that it's very bullish, guys. Uh, Dow Jones was able to test the 283 point, uh, excuse me, 303.6 support level. It bounced, okay. So I right now, I have uh, resistance around 309.8 ish. If we can clear that, 312.3 is in play, and then possibly a test of this downtrend line that connects April 21st low. Uh, excuse me, April 21st high to June 8th high. Still haven't got a third touch yet. So let's see if we get the third touch. Would be around would be around the 319 resistant level. And if we can clear that, that would be very, very bullish. Okay, I'll switch back to bearish if we lose a 305.5 support and 303.6 support. Okay. IWM, you can see here my fib levels all the way from March 2020 low to November 2021st high. And it recaptured the 50% retracement level at 170. Okay, so as long as 170 holds, 174.3, then 180 is in play. I will turn back to bearish if 170 fails, put in 165.7, uh, 162.8, and 159.8 in play. Okay, pretty straightforward. Tesla closed just below the 700.5 uh, resistant level. If that clears, very bullish. Possibly go back and test the resistance of this triangle pattern that I got. Descending triangle, which is around 744, 743-ish. Okay, that's if it clears 705.5. I do have some support around 694.7, 695 zone. If that fails, 680 is back in play. All right, 680 fails, 665, 656.4-ish, then possibly 648 is back in play. I actually tested that level and filled the gap today. All right, big move to the downside with a big move to the upside. Okay, so look for calls above 705. Look for puts if support fails, which is around 694. Okay, guys, so that's what I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Okay, Uncle Charter's strategy is the same as always. I look for calls. When a resistant fail, uh, clears, messing up today. I look for calls when a resistant clears and I look for puts when a support fails. All right? So that's all I have for you guys. Thank you guys. Peace.